welcome to uh, another Dashwood Friday. Uh, I am not Adam, I am Stephen. Uh, <laughs> it's my first Dashwood Friday. Um, I'm here with Luke, who was one of the entrants uh, and the one of the top 10 uh, entrants to our Dashwood competition that we held recently at Squared Up. And he put together an awesome dashboard uh, relating to, to Jira. So, hi, Luke. How are you going today? Not too bad. Yourself? I'm, I'm very well. Just cracking into the dashboard. So, Jira is what you connected to to pull in this data. What, what do you and your team use Jira for? So, we use Jira for all of our IT service requests. So, if anyone needs help with something um, across our agency, um, they'll submit a Jira ticket. Um, and that's how we then assign that to someone in our team to respond to that and take action. And um, we also use Jira to manage our projects as well. So um, we sort of have two, we have the, the service desk style Jira, and then we have the projects as well. So those are the bigger pieces of work that get completed. And the, the SLAs that you talk about on the dashboard, are those to do with incidents or to do with other things? And, so, and how important are they? Yeah, so the SLAs are relating to um, how quickly we really we're responding to customers, so um, our staff. Um, so we have an SLA that you have to respond to a new ticket within um, an hour of it being raised. So it's just making sure that those do get actioned and responded to and that we don't have staff that are, are waiting for too long. Jira itself has some reporting capability. I, I've, I've used it a little bit myself, uh, although I get lost very quickly. Why couldn't you just do this kind of reporting or dashboarding in Jira itself? You can do this type of reporting in Jira, but what I'm looking for in a dashboarding solution is the ability to mix and match different data sources, and that's the bit you can't do in Jira. This is sort of like the really the starting of my dashboarding journey with Jira. Um, Jira was just really easy to just connect up to squared up and spin up a dashboard with whatever data we wanted to show. But then the next steps for me will probably be to how I can turn it into a IT operational dashboard and show things like our server status and if a server's down or things like that. Yeah, in a, in a previous role, we, we would do things like, uh, we didn't have squared up, but we would be looking for we use service now for incident management so we'd get all our tickets around incidents and service now but then we need to go to jira to look at things about the work that we're doing and match up the work related to incidents and and you can pull them together using squared up or you know whatever having a tool to do that is helpful we've got the dashboard up now i was wondering if you could sort of step through each part and, and what what it shows what it tells you sure so um along the top row we have just the the ticket numbers for the different categories so the total tickets that are open how many are nearing their sla so if they're within the hour uh, response time and then how many are waiting for support how many are waiting on customer and how many are waiting for third party so that just gives us at a glance how many customers are waiting for us um, and how many are we waiting for on other parties so that's sort of the top row the second row i have two pie charts so the first pie chart there just shows the distribution of tickets among our staff members in our team our it team so it just gives us at a glance how many tickets have i got how many tickets have um, my manager got etc cetera, etc cetera. and we can see if someone's overloaded in there the next pie chart over is how many just a visualization of how many in each status and then on the uh, right hand side i have just some widgets that show how many security incidents we've had in the last year and how many general incidents we've had just really to make that data visible so we can see it. So I was curious, with the nearing SLA panel, is that to give you a heads up that you, you've got a bunch of tickets which are getting close to that one hour SLA? Is that, is that what that's for? And, and how close? So what, what did you configure it to? Uh, I think it's 10 minutes. So, you know, if we look up at that screen or that dashboard, we can see if there's, you know, a number there that other than zero that we need to jump in and do something. Uh, what, what value? does the dashboard at a high level provide you? It really just, it makes the data visible to us and we can see it quickly and easy at a glance. We can quickly see, you know, how many customers are waiting for support, how many are nearing SLA. Is our team member overloaded with, you know, 100 tickets? Do we need to jump in and help them? So it really just allows us to have that visibility really quickly. Was it time consuming to put together? or challenging with any technical issues along the way? I think um, the, the Squared Up platform is actually really easy to integrate, um, particularly with the Jira because there's a Jira connector um, or a Jira data source in Squared Up. So you literally just connect that up and then you can 
add any data you want, or you can even run your own queries, which is really cool. So it was actually really easy and quick to set up. The last thing I wanted to ask is, if you were going to extend this into the future, uh, what things what things might you do to expand on this? I guess it's, again, sort of more into the IT operations side, so showing other types of data with this, um, things like our service status or you know things like that, or is, is our website down or other data sources that are important to have quick access to. And I wonder if you could potentially use uh, monitoring uh, and alerts to, to maybe sort of notify you if, if there's an SLA about to be breached or, you know, you might not do that in Squared Up, you might do that in Jira or some other tool, but uh, yeah, it could be, could be some potential there too. For sure. Thanks very much, Luke, for sharing your dashboard uh, and for taking the time to talk about it today. No problem.